Ian Arnold, bring the noise UK.com here with Gus G. How's it going? It's going fine, thank you. Um, so, Sonosphere is its third year. It's a fairly new concept at the whole touring festival. How have you uh, enjoyed it so far? It was great. I mean, uh, for Firewind, it was the first Sonosphere we ever did. And it's great that we started with the UK version because this is where it all started. So, yeah, it's a very nice festival, very well organized and a good crowd good people it's nice is it something you'd like to do again do the whole you know because you've got sonosphere poland most definitely if we ever have a chance to uh, do the whole sonosphere tour yes yeah. we do it yeah so when when you look at um uk festivals what is it you think makes them stand apart because a lot of people say that uk festivals are like no other festivals people get to another level of um I think, at least for us, I mean, I, I can't speak for, for all the bands, but at least for us, we have a very loyal fan base in the UK, and whenever we play festivals, we go down great. Um, people are, you know, people are really into it when we play here. I mean, um, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's a, UK is a very special place for Firewind. It has been since, uh, for a few years now. And um, yesterday was uh, another performance like that. Any, any moments stand out from yesterday that makes it so special or just well, the general vibe? Gen it's a good vibe, you know, you know when you're playing and you get a, the, that energy back from the crowd, you know, and uh, not everybody just stands there and looks like with the impress me look or okay, well get on with it, next man. But they're really into it, I mean, they're, they're, there were lots of kids there with our shirts, singing the lyrics, you know, they were moshing to the heavy riffs, singing to the melodies, it was great. So looking at the, um, after this festival, what, what's, what have you got planned? We are, we are uh, starting a European tour in September, uh, actually starting in the UK, doing four gigs over here, um, then moving on to Central Europe and then we're going over to North America in October. Yeah. Uh, any plans for new material? Well, we've been, we've been um, writing some stuff you know, here and there and uh, we have a bunch of demos but nothing really uh, concrete so far. We're still touring the Days of Defiance album. So uh, that'll keep us busy until the end of 2011, and uh, we'll see what happens for 2012. When, when it comes to recording, do you, do you kind of set yourself a specific time gap, or is it very natural and it just happens? Um, well, we, you know, we sort of make a plan, but you, know, you never really stick to the plan, because you never know what will come up. Maybe another cool tour come, will come up, and then we'll, that will delay you. or. Uh, you're just not ready with the songwriting and you need to be ready make sure the material is there um, right now we're in no rush to be honest you know we just uh, we're actually uh, uh, out of a record deal we just uh, finished uh, a record deal with Century Media and um, we're taking it easy basically we're just going out there to tour this record promote it and um, we'll write the stuff and when we feel ready you know we'll uh, we'll get uh, we'll get back in the studio so uh, it's a good time for Firewind right now. Yeah, talking about off of the, the label, um, in the climate, do you think it's as important as it used to be to be signed? Um, a lot of people say no, it's not, yeah. you know. Um, I don't know, I guess uh, a, a, if a record label does their job properly, I think it's still useful yeah. because they have the proper channels to promote and, uh, you know, if they have the proper marketing budget and the whole setup, then I think it's very important to have a record label. Obviously, you know, you can do it on your own and you can say, hey, do I have 10,000 fans worldwide that will buy my CD? If you do, then you can do it on your own. You limit yourself to less sales, but you make more money. Yeah. Um, so you kind of like can pick and choose depending on the level you are. Um, how, do you keep, um, how do you keep things fresh? So now it's doing, sometimes we get jaded with maybe touring. The schedule's quite hard. But how do you keep things fresh and alive in the band? Um, we just ha like to have a good old fight every now and then, just to keep it fresh. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, win the fight the I always win. No, <laughs> just kidding. I mean, you know, the, the band's like a family. You know, um, we always discuss things and uh, how you know how to improve our our you know everything on, on, on from the image to the artwork to the production to to songs. We it, we try to make new things. For example, we would like to try some new things on the on the new songs, and uh, kind of like try to evolve our sound and style. And uh, that is a great motivation to keep to keep making new songs. You know. Since the um, initial forming to now, how would you 
say you've evolved most? What's, what's changed the most? Well, why we started out in a weird way, it was more like a studio band with just me making the songs with studio musicians and then on the, by the fourth album we finally became a real band. We had a real lineup that could uh, go out there and tour. That's when we started touring uh, non-stop really and um, we basically changed our sound on the fourth album and on, from Allegiance and on. You know, we introduced keyboards a bit more to our sound. A lot of people have said that we had become a bit softer, gone a bit softer, but uh, I still think we're as heavy as before. And um, we've been following the same kind of formula on the last three albums, um, which is why I just said that we would like to try something different for the next one. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your day at Summersfield. Thank you, man. See you again.